You're probably toggling between ChatGPT and your browser tabs all day long, losing time and context with every switch. I get it. I was doing the same thing until I found something that completely changed how I work with AI. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to show you ChatGPT Atlas, a tool that brings ChatGPT directly into your browser so you can research, create, and build without breaking your workflow. By the end of this, you'll see exactly how it works and why it might just become your new favorite productivity weapon. First up, let me show you the game changer that started it all. What is ChatGPT Atlas? ChatGPT Atlas isn't just another extension you'll forget about in a week. It's fundamentally different because it transforms how you interact with information on the web. Think of it as having a research partner sitting right next to you while you browse. Here's what makes it special. Instead of copying text from a web page, pasting it into ChatGPT, getting your answer, and then jumping back to the browser, you can now highlight anything on any website and let Atlas handle it instantly. The AI understands context, remembers what you're working on, and gives you answers without destroying your workflow rhythm. But here's where it gets interesting. Most browser tools feel bolted on and awkward. Atlas was designed from the ground up to feel like a natural part of how you already work. You're not learning a new tool. You're just making your existing process smarter. Key features that actually matter. Let me walk you through the features that will make the biggest difference in your daily work. Real-time content analysis. The moment you highlight text on any web page, Atlas gives you instant analysis. Need a summary? Done. Want the key takeaways? There. Need it in a different tone or format? It adapts instantly. This isn't just speed, it's about maintaining momentum while you're in the zone. Contextual research without context switching. Imagine you're reading an article about AI trends and you want to dive deeper into a specific claim without leaving the page. Atlas lets you ask follow-up questions about exactly what you're reading without copying and pasting anything. The context is already there. You're not starting from scratch with each question. Multi-tab awareness. Wait until you see this, and this is where it gets powerful. Atlas can understand what you're working on across multiple tabs simultaneously. So if you're researching one topic but need to pull information from another source, Atlas connects the dots for you. It's like having someone who's been reading all the same articles you have and can synthesize everything instantly. Custom prompt. Templates. You probably have your own workflows. Maybe you always need content in a specific format, or you have a particular way you like information structured. Atlas lets you save your favorite prompts and prompts so that repetitive tasks become one-click operations. No more rewriting the same requests over and over. Content export and integration. Here's something people don't talk about enough. What you create in Atlas can flow directly into your workflow. Export to Notion, paste into Google Docs, send to your email, it all works seamlessly. The insights you generate become immediately actionable. Real world scenarios. Let me show you how this actually plays out in practice because this is where the real value becomes obvious. For content creators and marketers, Say you're researching competitor strategies or industry trends. Instead of the traditional read-take-notes copy-paste dance, you're scanning articles with Atlas running in parallel. Highlight the key competitive advantages mentioned across five different sites, and Atlas synthesizes it into a comprehensive briefing in seconds. Then export that directly into your content outline. The research phase that usually takes an hour becomes efficient and focused. For developers and technical workers, your troubleshooting documentation spread across multiple pages, stack overflow discussions, and GitHub threads. Atlas lets you pull relevant information from each source and ask it to synthesize solutions specific to your problem. Instead of jumping between tabs and contacts, you're building understanding faster. For business professionals and researchers, 
You're evaluating market reports, financial data, and competitor information simultaneously. Atlas helps you extract relevant data points, compare across sources, and even identify contradictions or inconsistencies that might warrant deeper investigation. It's like having a research assistant who's already read everything. For students and lifelong learners, learning new topics usually means browser tab explosion. Atlas changes that. You're reading an article, something connects to another concept, and instead of spiraling into research, you ask Atlas for clarification and context. Your learning path stays focused because you're not fighting tab chaos. How Atlas actually works. Let me break down the actual mechanics so you understand why this is genuinely different. Installation is literally a one-click process from your browser's extension store. Once it's active, you'll notice a subtle Atlas icon appearing whenever you highlight text. Click it, and boom, you've got your prompt window right there, contextual to what you selected. The magic happens in the background. Atlas doesn't just grab your selection, it understands the surrounding context on the page. If you highlight a quote, Atlas knows it's a quote. If you highlight data, it recognizes it as data. This context awareness means when you ask it follow-up questions, it's not starting from zero. You can set your default behavior too. Some people prefer quick summaries for every highlight. Others want detailed analysis. You're not stuck with one mode. Atlas adapts to how you actually work. And if you want to dig deeper, every interaction is logged and searchable, so your research history becomes your knowledge base. Atlas Veris Standard Workflow Here's a comparison that makes the benefit crystal clear. Traditional workflow. Copy text from web page, open ChatGPT in another tab, paste content, ask your question, get answer, switch back to browser, manually integrate information that's five context switches and at least three separate applications involved. With ChatGPT Atlas, highlight text, ask question in Atlas pop-up, get answer immediately, optionally export or take action. That's one context switch. You're still on the same web page, seeing the same content, but with AI insights happening in parallel. This might sound like a small difference, but when you're working all day, these small efficiencies compound dramatically. You're not just saving time, you're maintaining focus, reducing cognitive load, and staying in your flow state longer. Practical tips for maximum value. Let me give you the tactics that'll help you get the most out of Atlas. Create your perfect prompt library. Spend one session building custom prompts for your most common tasks. Whether you're always extracting data, writing summaries, generating ideas, or analyzing sentiment, create a prompt for it. This one-time investment pays off daily. Use Atlas. During research sessions, not after don't research normally, and then use Atlas afterward. Use it actively while you're reading. Let it inform your research path as you go. It's like having a live research partner, pushing back, clarifying, and pointing out angles you missed. Combine Atlas with your annotation tools. If you're already highlighting important information on web pages, let Atlas analyze those highlights. This creates a feedback loop where your natural research behavior becomes enhanced by AI insights. Export strategically. Don't just gather information. Create a system for what happens next. Export to your note-taking system, your project management tool, or your writing platform. Make Atlas a step in your workflow, not a dead-end tool. Experiment with different prompt styles. Try different approaches. Sometimes, direct questions work best. Other times, asking Atlas to play the role of someone specific yields better results. The tool adapts to your style, so play with it. Limitations and honest talk. Look, I'm going to be real with you. Atlas is genuinely useful, but it's not a magic wand and anyone telling you otherwise is overselling it. Atlas works best when you're actively engaging with content. It's not a tool for passive consumption. If you're just scrolling, it won't be as valuable. You need to be someone who's actively researching, creating, or problem solving. Also, like any AI tool, the quality of your questions matters. 
Atlas will give you what you ask for. So vague prompts get vague results. Specific, well-structured questions unlock the real power. Another thing, Atlas is browser-dependent. It won't help you if you're working in native apps or offline. It's specifically designed for the you're-on-a-website moment, which is its strength but also its boundary. And finally, your privacy and data depend on your settings. Like any tool, make sure you understand how your data is being handled. Review the privacy settings and make choices that align with what you're comfortable with. Who should and shouldn't use Atlas? This is perfect for anyone who spends significant time researching online content creators, writers, and marketers. Students and academics doing research developers needing to pull info from documentation. Business professionals analyzing reports and data. Anyone frustrated with constant tab switching, you might want to wait. If you rarely use your browser for work, you work primarily offline or in native applications. You're brand new to AI and still learning the fundamentals. Privacy is a concern and you're not comfortable with browser extensions. But honestly, most people reading or working online could benefit from this. It's low risk to try and the learning curve is genuinely shallow. The bigger picture. Here's what Atlas represents that goes beyond just being a cool tool. It's the future of how we'll work with AI. We're moving away from the model where AI lives in isolated applications. We're moving toward AI being integrated into the places where we already spend our time. The browser, our documents, our inboxes. Atlas is just one example of this shift, but it's a really smart one. Instead of fighting the reality that you're on the web, Atlas accepts it and becomes more useful because of it. The tools that win aren't the ones that ask you to change your habits. They're the ones that enhance your existing workflow. That's what makes Atlas genuinely different from a lot of what's out there. All right, so here's what I want you to do. If you're someone who's always got multiple tabs open, who's researching, creating, or problem solving, try Atlas. Install it, spend a session with it, and see if it clicks for you. I'd love to know in the comments, what's your biggest pain point when it comes to research and information gathering? Are you a tab hoarder like me, or have you already found a better workflow? Let me know, and if you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button because we're dropping more tools and strategies like this every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.